Hey everybody, today I am super excited because what do we have? We have our Funko Box of Fun. Now, this came in a crushed, you've seen them, those accordion style boxes that are crushed, but this was wrapped in bubble wrap inside the box, so I'm really hoping we avoided damage on there. But before we open that, I have my pickups from the Funko Lottery. So let me show you what I got. Got a few items in here. Um, we did pretty well, and we got pretty much everything we wanted from the con. The only things we missed out on were the uh, the ten inch Galactus, the Black Light Rabbit, and the Blade, um, and Shockwave. But I think that's being dropped later. So we've got one of these sorters we hate, and we've got another crappy sorter. Another crappy sorter, and y'all probably know what this is. And then we have Willy Nilly Thor Soda. So we'll open that up after we get into these little boxes. So, man, I really do not like these sorters, but it is what it is. They're probably not going anywhere because they're probably cheaper for Funko. But, ah, this is the one, or one of the ones that I liked the most. We've got the Rocketeer. Got some dust on the window, but no damage to the box. So that's a good sign. I've seen a lot of people's orders come pretty damaged. But this one, eh, not, not bad. Just a little speck, couple specks on the windows. I can probably clean those off. So... All right, and then we have I mean, I really can't imagine them saving that much money on these boxes. They're just more difficult to open, but there's not that much more wood or anything. All right, next one, one from the G.I. Joe line, we've got Roboto. We also ordered a couple of the Toy Tokyo bundles that have these figures in them, um, mostly for the hopes of getting that Web Store Chase soda, but uh, also um, they had some other cool items in the bundle. So that's a very cool figure, and I don't know if you can see translucent chest there. So again, this one came without any damage, so I am happy about that. All right. Got. Okay, and then we have our last two pops. We've got the Kevin um, Smith's Movies mascot. So this is a very cute one. I had to pick that one up. And again, I'm happy to say there's no damage. I hope I can say the same thing when we bust into the Fun Days box. And then the last pop until the big one. We've got Black Noir from The Boys. Very cool. Very cool show. Um, this guy is a real chatty Cathy. You can't, can't shut him up on the TV show. All right. So that is the pops. Now let's get into this special one. Again, a lot of y'all, if y'all have been seeing people open these, you probably know what this is. comes packaged with that great safety foam. Right, two pieces. And then I doubt I'm selling this or it's going anywhere, so I'm not going to be all that careful with the uh, little plastic wrap on the top. Funko did a knockout job with the display on this, though, I do have to say. And the way they protected it. Good job, Funko. Wish you'd show that kind of consideration with other things. But, so, there he is. And I'm going to see if I can get the sticker off without causing 
um, without having to actually rip it. So, all right, guys. So I was able to get those stickers off the top and the bottom without leaving any residue or marks on them. So that's cool. So now let us open up the nice display box. And again, there's even there's more foam in there. Now we're gonna take out and even more foam to protect it. So again, Funko, great job. And there's even foam on the inside. So take this little protective piece out. Put him so he's moving around a little bit I gotta see there's probably a way to I probably need to move him there's probably a way to click him in place yep So this, I mean, even from the etched display case, this is a super cool piece. So that is awesome. Guys, I am going to put, oh, one more thing. We have a soda in the um, box of fun. So let's see how we did with our Thor soda. So, the sticker is on the outside, and from what I've been seeing on people's videos, this one's a little trickier to get off than some previous stickers. So, yeah. Y'all be careful with that when you're putting it on there. Okay. All right. So let's see what we got. Can we get lucky and get a chase on our first can of these? Nope, that's okay. This can's a little bit beat up, but I will show you all off the, uh, the fog. Because we know with Funko's quality control issues, maybe this is a chase. Or maybe they put a completely different figure in here. All right, so we got the regular, but this is a really neat figure. I really like this. Glad they made him. Looks super cool. See his hammer there. So that's cool. Alright guys, I'm going to put this stuff away and then we're gonna get into that box of fun. We've got our box of fun. So I'm gonna open the seal on this. I know there's a way to tell by the barcode what are in here, but obviously I'm not going to do that because I want to be surprised. And I also know that these are kind of tight, so it's going to be a challenge for me in getting them out because I like to be so extra careful. So try to get this first one out. All right, this one's not being too much of a difficulty so All right. take the tissue paper off so what do we want most we want this is our order of preference we want the flocked Freddy Funko as Wolfman number one after that, we probably want the metallic Freddy as Freddy Mercury. Um, and then probably the Marty McFly and the Teen Wolf. Uh, wouldn't be mad with a metallic or a glow-in-the-dark Jollibee. Those are kind of neat. Um, the Fortnite one is cool, but not my thing. The Hercules, cool, but not my thing. So I wouldn't mind if I had to get one of the sports ones. I wouldn't mind the Ping Pong Freddy just because I'm an avid table tennis player and I've played for so long. But with all that being said, let's see the first one. Oh, yes! All right. 
2000 piece Freddy. That's all right. It's not the uh, metallic one, but this is this is still very cool. Love love this one. So as Freddy Mercury, Freddy Funko. So sweet. We didn't get stuck with one of the boxes with a, the Olympiads. So that is very cool. And I am very happy for that Freddy. All right, so let's check the next one. This is the middle pop. And what do we got? Uh, okay, we got Freddy Funko as El Chavo. Uh, I'm sure there's a loyal following for him, but I'm just not a not a fan. Um, no damage really on this, so that's that's good. No real damage on that one either. So, so that's a three thousand piece, a two thousand piece. So I mean, not guaranteed to get a thousand piece here, but. It'd be nice. I just please don't give me an art series. Can you do that for me? All right, and our final Freddy. We've got oh yes, sweet a thousand piece glow in the dark. Freddy Funko is Jolly Bee. That is awesome. We got a we got two cool pops that are probably going to be keepers for the personal collection, and I'm very happy that there's not really any damage on these. So, glow in the dark, Freddy is Jolly Bee. Awesome, 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 awesome. So guys, super happy with what we pulled. I mean, it wasn't the metallic Freddy, but that's okay. Um, the Chavo is definitely going to be. For trade because I have no interest in that one but two out of three keepers for the uh, box of fun I can't complain guys please let me know in the comments below what was your favorite pop was it something from the con or was it one of the Freddy's that we pulled so I hope you enjoyed this video if you're not already a subscriber please hit the subscribe button um, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be informed when I drop future videos but guys that is all I have for today have a good one